Well, today we're going to talk about some of rap's corniest rap beefs. Now, most of these involve Papoose. Papoose used to pick a lot of fights back in the day, and a lot of it involved K-Slay. His affiliation with K-Slay and his affiliation with Remy Ma. Uh, now, we're going to talk about Fat Joe and Converter and uh, Max B, just to name a few. He did have beef with Stack Bundles at one point, uh, but that got that got kind of squashed before he died. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so Papu started a lot of beefs back in the day because he believed he was the king of Brooklyn. Now, uh, that's what started his problem with Uncle Murder. Now, it was a little bit deeper than that. It got into some street stuff, but also... Uh, it had a lot to do with ego and being the king of Brooklyn. So uh, there was two incidences. There was one night where Papoose and Uncle Murder met up on the street. Uh, they, I think they were coming out of the same studio, and supposedly Papoose got sucker punched and got swung around a pole and it got caught on DVD, and then everyone was calling him a stripper. So then another incident happened at a club where uh, Uncle Murder was walking through, and uh, he... He saw Papoose in the end, and Papoose sucker punched him back. Uh, and then he kind of talked about it. He said, So anyways, then another incident after that, Max B had said something about K Slay and Papoose. Not any, not anything crazy. Well then Papoose came up to the radio. He was invited up by fifty cent. Max B was up there. Max B had the city on fire, so of course Papoose did not like that. Now, of course, uh, uh, 50 Cent's talking about the beef with Uncle Murder and Papoose. And unfortunately, I got in the middle of this because I did a video for Uncle Murder. And then I did a video for Papoose. And they both thought it was about each other when it wasn't even about that. Now, that didn't get squashed until Max B went away to jail. So, I, I can't even say it really got squashed. I mean, it's just like he went to jail, he wasn't a threat anymore, and it got squashed. Then the last part of the corny beefs was between Fat Joe and Papoose. Now, the, on the, in, uh, I think it was 08, 09, there was this big show in North Carolina. Papoose, everybody was there. Papoose was in a, a room with Cassidy. Fat Joe busted and said, hey, I think you got a problem with me. Now, this stems from that thing with 50 Cent, that radio interview with 50 Cent, where 50 Cent was making fun of Fat Joe and his family and laughing, and Papoose just happened to be there. Plus, Papoose was dating Remy Ma at the time, and before Remy Ma went to jail, she was dissing Fat Joe, saying he didn't do nothing for her. He did, you know, she bought all, she did everything self-made. It's all because of pun, had nothing to do with Fat Joe. She was mad because her albums weren't selling. Then, you know, she caught a case. She had to go to jail. Uh, you know, obviously, everything's good now. You know, Fat Joe, Remy, Papoose is all good now. Papoose and Uncle Murder just don't even deal with each other. But, uh, you know, that 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 beef with Fat Joe and Papoose, uh, Papoose swung on Fat Joe, and then Fat Joe stomped him out. So... <laughs> You know, these are just some of the corniest beefs. Papoose had a lot of ego back in the day. But, you know, rap was a little bit more fun back in the day, too. Because, you know, you never knew what was going to happen. Anyways, guys. Uh, I'll check you guys in the next one. Some, some more news breaks today. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want to run ads on the channel, it's JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com. Peace. Have a good day.